This is what pure sleight of hand looks like. Four coins, no fifth, no sleeves. Now, once the coins are positioned on the table, all you do is give them a wave and you can watch them start to move from position to position on their own. This is all very confusing at the start, so we can go back to the beginning. <laughs> watch again, just like this. Now, you might notice that I've been sweating a lot. That's because this last move is really hard. Uh, but when it works, it's a thing of beauty. Now, if you like this video, share it with a friend. Oh, my Tinder. Oh, it's magic time. And I need your help figuring this one out because it's driving me crazy. Six cards, three blue ones, three red ones, front and back divided. Now, all we're gonna do is place them into the cup in that exact same order. So that's the three blue first, followed by the three red, okay? It could not be any fairer. All I've got to do is turn the glass half the way around and it's done. Check it out, just like that. They now mix up, so it's every second card. It goes black, red, black, red, both sides completely mixed, just like that. Now, I'm gonna do it one more time. All I've gotta do is place them in. I don't even have to place them into the glass. The trick's already done. Both sides have rearranged back to their original position. I told you it was magic time. A magician's job is to trick your sense of balance of what's right and what's wrong, to warp your perception of what is reality and what isn't. That's what's cool about magic and frustrating at the same time, and that's what's cool about my wood. I've got two yellow pieces and two red pieces. Now, the red pieces are much bigger than the yellow pieces, and it's easy to see that if you squish them together like that, and then you can see the size difference, and we all know that size matters. So, that's what you can do, or you can flip Oh, I've got this so wrong. The long ones are the yellow ones, okay? That's what you've got to do. And then, yeah, the red ones are the short ones. So you take the red ones and you press them together first. That's right, because they're the short ones. Then you take the long ones, which are the yellow ones. And now you can see the size difference that the yellow one is actually longer than the short one, which is red. I'm so sorry for that before. You never want to trust magicians on the internet. They're going to try and trick you up. They're going to try and convince you that the short one is the long one, that the long one is the short one. And that's not the case, even if it looks exactly that way. I can tell you why it's not the case, because these are all the exact same size. Front, back, and sides, just like that. That doesn't make sense. Not much in life does tag someone that owns more than two cats. Can a tiny plunger do magic? Let's find out. The first thing I'm going to do is shuffle up these cards so you can see that all the cards are different and they're, and they're in no special order. I apologize for the messy shuffle. I can't see a thing. While my little plunger keeps watch at the front, we're going to spread these cards across the table and we're going to grab one at random. Let's go for this one here. We'll get rid of the rest of the deck and we're going to sign that one card in brown sharpie. Why brown? Because it looks like gold and we are the champions, my friend. Make sure you can remember what that looks like. Little plunger, you make sure you can remember what it looks like too because we're going to take that card that's signed, cut it into about the middle of the deck, put it down and little plunger. That's it from me. You do your magic in three, two. <sighs> Let's see how he did. We've cut to about halfway. Uh, one card, one card right at the bottom there. Could it be heck yeah, brown squiggly. Tag a friend that's got a tiny plunger of their own.